Franklin Roosevelt was moving to head off the grassroots challenges to his New Deal. He weighed in with a hefty new round of legislation, a second New Deal. High atop the agenda stood his Emergency Relief Appropriation Act to get people back to work. To calm the fears of senior citizens, Roosevelt introduced the Social Security Act, creating the nation's first federal old age insurance system. This Social Security measure gives at least some protection to 30 millions of our citizens who will reap direct benefits through unemployment compensation, through old age pensions, and through increased services for the protection of children and the prevention of ill health. Social Security provided a measure of security for some 30 million Americans, but it did not cover many of the most needy, for among those excluded were domestic workers and farm workers, day laborers, and almost everyone who was underemployed. A second legislative initiative was the Revenue Act, or Wealth Tax Act, which was designed to increase taxes on the rich. And in an appeal to workers, Roosevelt supported the Wagner Act, which required companies to bargain with any union that its workers chose. No longer could a company fire an employee just for joining a union. For the first time, the federal government would protect the rights of workers. After passage of the Wagner Act, union membership grew from 3 million to 9 million in the 1930s. Using the new tactic of sit-down strikes, they won recognition from General Motors and other industrial giants. The fight to unionize industries was long and bloody. But by the end of the 1930s, the country's unions were stronger than ever before. Union members also voted for Franklin Roosevelt. With overwhelming labor support, Roosevelt was re-elected in a landslide in 1936. After Roosevelt's re-election, only the Supreme Court remained a thorn in Roosevelt's side. Earlier in 1936, it wiped out another jewel of the first New Deal, the Agricultural Adjustment Act. Now it threatened to strike down the second New Deal, too, especially the Social Security Act and the Wagner Act. So Franklin Roosevelt decided to strike first. <laughs> 